The Da Vinci Code is one of the most read novels of our time, with more than 81 million copies sold worldwide in 56 languages. Written by Dan Brown in 2003, it features the protagonist, Robert Langdon, a professor of symbology and iconology, who finds himself the prime suspect of the murder of Jacques Saunière, the curator of the Louvre. He seeks to prove his innocence with the help of Sophie Neveu, Saunière's granddaughter. Following some cryptic clues found in Leonardo da Vinci's paintings, Langdon discovers that an ancient secret organization still exists and closely guards a shocking secret dating back to the time of Christ, a discovery which could shake the foundations of Christianity. The plot is interesting with a rapid pace, and regardless of the secret, it is a good read. Spoiler ahead. The book tackles the issue of the Holy Grail, which has been a controversial issue itself, and suggests that Jesus was married and had a daughter. The Grail turns out to be the secret bloodline of Jesus. The Da Vinci Code unravels a conspiracy by the Church to hide the true nature of Mary Magdalene's relationship to Jesus. The writer claims early in the book that all descriptions of artwork, architecture, documents, and secret rituals in this novel are accurate. This claim is twofold. It could mean that the descriptions are separate from the work of fiction and readers could enjoy it guilt-free. And it would also mean, for the more inquisitive minds, that the Gnostic Gospels, discovered in 1945 in Egypt and mentioned in the book, reveal some accurate information about Mary Magdalene and her relationship with Jesus. In these Gospels, Mary emerges as Jesus' most trusted disciple and advisor, and a rival to the Apostle Peter, allegedly the first head of the Church. This might have been suppressed by the Church, which until today continues to protect its patriarchal system by eliminating any movement within its inner circles to foster any original feminist. The combination of a fictional professor pointing to some provocative real clues buried in the sand for almost 1600 years is what makes this book an intriguing read. The book acquired its name from the legendary artist Leonardo da Vinci, who actually worked for the church, all the while trying to reveal the secret the church itself has been trying to hide. The Last Supper, Leonardo's most famous painting, depicts, for devout Christians, St. John sitting next to Jesus. But the book suggests that this person is Mary Magdalene, as the painting itself shows the portrait of a woman, not a man. Probably the secret behind the success of the Da Vinci Code is that it can be read as a work of fiction or a secret revealing book. However you look at it, it is very intriguing. Well, a bonus piece of information for those who are still with us. Dan Brown draws our attention to a spare hand described as disembodied, anonymous, belonging to no one at all. This hand is located between the third disciple from the left end of the table and the next seated disciple. Why did Leonardo draw this hand? Well, we will leave that for you to think about.